Imagine that you give birth to your baby and finally the time comes only to find out that you have to do it all over again. Lindsay Altus knows that feeling. When this 30-year-old mother went into labor with her second child, she had no idea what a surprise was in for her. You won't want to miss this story. Lindy Altus and her husband Wesley live in Wisconsin, USA. The couple were happily in love and everything seemed to be going well for them. They were enjoying seeing their little son, Django, and had a second baby on the way that they couldn't wait to hold. Lindsay had a couple of things clear. She wanted to have a natural water birth at home, but she wasn't going to do ultrasounds. During a water birth, the mother is submerged while she gives birth. She's usually done in a fixed or inflatable bathtub called a birthing tub. Hospitals are increasingly offering women the option of giving birth in a heated pool, as it's supposed to be more relaxing for both baby and mother. However, Lindsay wanted to give birth in the water at home, but in order to do so, it was important that there were no complications with the baby or with her. At first, the pregnancy seemed to be going well. She at times felt extremely bloated, and she also had terrible morning sickness, followed by unbelievable migraines that not even the chiropractor could fix. But these types of ailments are not unusual during pregnancy. However, towards the end, things changed. The midwife became concerned that she might be carrying a breech baby and recommended an ultrasound. A breech pregnancy is one in which the baby is positioned from bottom to top in the later stage of pregnancy. Thus, instead of coming out head first, as is normal, the baby comes out breech. Although most breech babies are born healthy, they have a slightly higher risk of certain problems. Lindsay and Wesley wanted to make sure everything was okay. And even though she hadn't planned it, she went in for an ultrasound. Ultrasound showed that it was not a breech baby, but rather a composite presentation. A composite presentation is a fetal position in which an extremity, such as an arm or hand, is positioned next to the part of the fetus closest to the birth canal. Her midwife warned her that she would not let labor proceed naturally with a composite presentation. So, Lindsay was looking forward to getting the baby moving so she could have a natural birth at home. A couple of days later, she had to have a second ultrasound, which revealed that the baby had moved and that she was ready to come out. But little did Lindsay know that two unexpected ultrasounds would not be the only surprise she'd faced during this pregnancy. The big day arrived, her baby was ready to be born. The couple wanted to be surprised by the sex, so they still didn't know if it was a boy or a girl. But Lindsay had a strong preference. She expected her to be a girl. My husband's family is all boys, so he kept his fingers crossed, she says. She'll fulfill her wish. After much anticipation, her little bundle of joy was born, and to Lindsay's joy, she was a girl. They called her Ada Mays. Lindsay found it strange that Ada was so small. She'd gained twice as much weight as she had in her last birth, so she didn't understand how her little girl could be so small. When she had her son Django a few years before, he weighed four kilos and gained less weight with him than with Ada. This struck her as rather strange, but she shrugged it off. Tiny or not, Ada was healthy, and that was the most important thing. Lindsay and Wesley were delighted and more than willing to enjoy this beautiful and intimate moment with the three of them. But then something strange happened. Lindsay and her husband thought her birthing experience was over for today, but she only had a moment to bask in her achievement before she felt another very large contraction, followed by what she describes as a second ring of fire. The midwife doctor said, Oh, that's just the placenta coming, Lindsay recalls. Then a nurse midwife said, That's the water bag. I've never seen it before. Meanwhile, Lindsay was speechless, but it didn't take long for her to realize what was happening. Her work wasn't quite done yet. The only words she could say were, oh God, which really describes all the feelings she was having. She said, from the pain to noticing what was happening to not being able to verbalize any of it to the doctor or my husband, what was going on. Fortunately, the nurses soon understood that it was not a bag of water at all. It was another baby. Lindsay says that there are no words to describe what she thought when she realized that she was going to have another baby right there. The next contraction was almost instantaneous. She knew what was going on before the nurses started saying what they thought it was. I could feel the baby coming but couldn't communicate because of the painful contraction, Lindsay said. She didn't know she was having twins and neither did any of the doctors or nurses. Her pregnancy never showed any signs of her having a second baby growing inside her. 
The entire room went wild and buzzed with conversation as everyone was stunned at the sudden arrival. My husband was in shock. My sister was taking photos, and I think neither of us had a clue how to feel, she said. I was in shock, too. I had one million thoughts that I couldn't process because I was completely overwhelmed. So I submitted to the moment. I think my face says it all in the photos. I must have set a world record for screaming, oh, God, in 10 minutes, she joked. 17 minutes after Ada's arrival, Lindsay's second daughter, Billy John, was born. The twins were joined by her older brother, Yago, who, like his parents, was only hoping to meet his sister. Lindsay still doesn't know how her twins went undetected during the 38 weeks she was pregnant. When I went into labor, they hooked me up to the baby monitor and there was just one heartbeat reading. And as soon as she found out she was pregnant, she found a midwife to check her position and measure her fundal height at every appointment. The baby always coincided with what would correspond to having a baby for each week, and in fact the entire pregnancy was exactly the same as when she had her first child. He felt my belly all the time, and my second midwife did it at every appointment, she continued. A second baby could not be felt. She also had two ultrasounds done and even been recorded looking at pictures of her. She now still can't see a second baby in them. Lindsay said, I think because I was just checking fluid levels and not looking for a second fetus, all they saw was that Ada had moved around a bit. I'm sure if they had looked for two babies, they would have found two. But, unexpected or not, once she realized that her situation was real and not some crazy pregnancy dream, Lindsay was very happy for her. Photos of her shocked face went viral after she shared her story on social media. It was just beautiful. I'll never forget the indescribable feeling behind those photos, she said. Lindsay wrote a post describing her experience and said, I always measured correctly for one baby, always found one heartbeat in the Doppler. I had terrible, terrible morning sickness, followed by a month of unbelievable migraines that the Cairo couldn't even help. My midwife warned me she wouldn't let labor happen naturally with a compound presentation, so I was eager for baby to move so I could have a birth at home. The second ultrasound of all four quadrants and done by a sonographer Revealed baby moved, and we were good to go. I remember my first words were, It's so tiny. I didn't know the sex yet. My second came less than two minutes after my first, with another two pushes, and she was born and call. I was just in shock. The staff was shocked. And I wish I had someone taking pictures of my husband because I'm blind and couldn't see his expression. I'm not even upset about not having a home birth again. Everything couldn't have been more perfectly serendipitous. They restarted the machine three times to weigh them because they couldn't believe that they were exactly the same weight and height. They both passed their APGAR with a 10 out of 10, which they said they hardly ever give any babies, let alone twins. We were free to go after 24 hours. No NICU time. I think I got a visit from every staff member during my stay. I don't think people believed it actually happened and had to see for themselves. How common is it for a twin to go undetected during a pregnancy? Dr. Christine Graves, a registered gynecologist, says that not being aware of a twin pregnancy is very rare. When the usual prenatal care is performed, it's unlikely that an ultrasound done later in the pregnancy will miss the second fetus or hidden twin, Graves said. It could be more common when the babies share the same amniotic sac because they can be so close together that the shade could get in the way. But cases like this are highly unlikely. Today, the twins are almost two years old. It's been so much fun watching them grow up together, and my son is a great big brother, Lindsay said. He's very pretty. It's definitely been challenging at times, but everything you go through as a parent is worth it in the end. When it first happened, we had an oh God moment, but now that we've settled in and know how to take care of the twins, we love it. It's an absolute blessing. And the kids are great. Our son Django loves the twins, and they all get along very well. I love looking at the photos because I think they show exactly how I felt. You can't hide what you felt. As soon as I realized what was happening, I was shocked, but also very happy. I believe that everything happens for a reason. Friends, we've reached the end of this story. Tell us what you thought of this story. Put it down here. Subscribe if you haven't already, give us a thumbs up, and share this video with all your friends and family. But you should also activate the notification bell so that you receive more content like this every day. Thank you for appearing on our life, and until next time.